Thank you, Dave. 15 degrees right now. The airport at 731. Good morning, everyone. Police are reminding drivers to safely secure kids in car seats, even if the children are kicking up a fuss. Here's why the reminder is being issued this morning. Mounties pulled over a vehicle recently for speeding. When the officer went to chat with the driver, he noticed a box in the back seat. The box was moving. The officer then saw a little hand poke out and wave. Turns out a little boy obviously inside the box. The driver says the little guy refused to get into his car seat, says he wanted to play in the box. That's obviously not safe, also illegal. The driver getting a $167 speeding ticket. Drivers also charged now with failing to properly secure a child in a motor vehicle. Before letting the vehicle drive away, the police officer was able to coax the little boy into his car seat. It's now 732. The Crown is appealing two second-degree murder convictions in connection with the killing of six-year-old Mika Jordan. According to Mika's mother, the Crown is appealing the convictions to try to get the convictions changed to first-degree murder. Three weeks ago, a Calgary judge convicting Mika's stepmother and biological father of second-degree murder, Marie Magoon and Spencer Jordan, were originally charged with first-degree. Little Mika died in November of 2011 after she was beaten and tortured for four days. Now, the Crown will ask the Court of Appeal to substitute the second-degree murder charge for one of first-degree because it carries an automatic life sentence and no chance of parole for at least 25 years. All this week, motorcades have been moving around the city of Calgary with a heavy police escort. We've been getting calls to our newsroom asking who's in town, what's going on. The answer is no one and nothing. There are no VIPs, no political leaders. This is just police practicing. The Calgary Police Traffic Unit and members of the RCMP are holding mock police escort training right now to stay sharp, just in case. Quite often the VIP visits, uh, with Calgary being uh, such a big centre now, we get a fair amount of them. So uh, the reason that we train for it is so we can do it in the real world. VIP training like this happens all year round in Calgary. In winter, though, the biggest difference, officers use police cruisers instead of motorcycles. Drones are giving us a snapshot right now of the impact of the June 2013 floods on the path of the Elbow River. A team of researchers from the U of C and UBC, they're working together mapping the toll the rushing water had on area rivers. The study actually began three years ago before the floods as a way to map fish habitat. But after the disaster, researchers quickly refocused their work because they had very accurate and very recent before and after the flood images. For example, in the Redwood Meadows area, about 25K west of the city of Calgary, the elbow has widened a lot and it runs much straighter now. Researchers also finding that the flood carried away the equivalent of about 8,000 dump trucks of stone and gravel, moving that debris, redistributing it in totally new locations along a one kilometer stretch of the elbow. Over the summer, these scientists will also be ramping up efforts to measure the legacy of the 2013 flood on the Bow River, the Kananaskis River, and further downstream along the Elbow River. 735, 15 degrees of the airport. Time to focus in on business now. Our business editor, Mike Eppel, joins us this morning. Mike Grease, again, dominating business news, but today is a deadline day for Greece and its debt. Yes, we've said that four days in a row. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. They said Monday was the deadline. No, Tuesday. Now it's today. Please, get it done. One way or the other. Rip the Band-Aid off. Do something. It's ground. Uh, seriously, Ted, the quote out of Greece today, out of the negotiations actually in Brussels, from one of the European finance ministers, was this is like the movie Groundhog Day. So there is a pop culture reference to all of this. And in fact, this morning, we're looking at what's also being described as analysis paralysis, no moves on the markets. Early in the week, up and down swings all over the place. Today, with another seeming 11th hour deadline, hardly anything going on. So investors even, just fatigued by all of this. They want resolution one way or the other. Either you're in or you're out, you default or you don't. So we'll track that. Economic indicators in this morning, not bad out of the United States. First off, personal spending by consumers rose nine tenths of a percent for the month of May. Americans spending at the fastest pace since 2009. They're buying more stuff, benefiting from the lower price for gasoline. So that's a good sign. Secondly, Winnebago, yes, the mo motorhome company, seeing its sales and profitability jump in the latest quarter. Americans spending more on those big ticket 
the seemingly gas-guzzling vehicles. They got more money to spend. Again, positive economic signals. Quarterly results in from Shaw Communications. Profit in the third quarter, $209 million, down a little bit year over year by 8%. They took a one-time write-down because they have uh, bailed, basically, on an Internet uh, TV protocol system, which cost them about $41 million. They're going to a new system. We're tracking that stock through the trading day for market reaction. And the parent company of Sobeys, Empire Companies, up a little bit in, pre in early trade this morning because they announced last night a three-for-one stock split and a hike to the dividend of 11%. It's been a winner over the past year, up 37%, opening the day just above $90 a share. We're coming into the day, Ted, with the Toronto stock market on a three-day winning streak. Will we make it four in a row? That remains to be seen. Back to you. And we'll see how Greece factors into everything. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Oh, yeah. That's our business Wait. editor, Mike Apple, reporting this morning. You can hear Mike on 660 News at 26 and 56 after the hour.